Hey everyone, it's Audrey and this is going to be a video about thrifting. Every time I post a flea market vlog or a thrift haul, I always get questions about what my thrifting tips are. So I figured that I would share those with you. Um, I don't have that many, but um, just some things that I like to keep in mind when I go thrifting, when I go to the flea market. So let's just get into it. Starting off with the first tip, I think that it's really important to get into the mood. I know that sounds kind of weird, but if I'm feeling really impatient or impulsive I would say that's probably the worst time to go thrifting or to go shopping in general I never find anything good right away I feel like I'm constantly searching through all of the racks through all the shelves especially when I'm in a thrift store um, when it's a flea market I'm just going up and down the aisles just trying to find stuff that I like trying to find good bargains so you kind of have to be I don't know, in the mood to be willing to search. You have to be willing to be under the hot sun or in the really cold weather if it's outside. So just be sure that you're in the mood to actually thrift because then otherwise I feel like you're just not gonna find anything or you're just going to get really impatient with looking for stuff. So yeah, that's tip number one. Next tip that I think is helpful is to set a budget. I usually do this by bringing cash with me. Um, whenever I go to the flea market especially, I I always just kind of bring a hundred dollars sometimes I bring way less than that really depends on how much I'm willing to spend sometimes thrift stores and flea markets only take cash anyway when you set a budget aside for just your thrifting trip I feel like you're also more aware of what you're spending your money on I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on one thing I always want to get more for less I feel like a lot of the times I'll find something that I really like but it's just way too expensive for the price um, especially if it's thrifted. Setting a budget is just helpful in determining how much you're willing to haggle, how much you're willing to spend, um, because if you have that set budget aside, you are just more mindful of how much the cost of everything is. A question that I get a lot is what my favorite thrift stores are and honestly that really depends. Um, I have some that I like to go to but it's just because they're close to me but I'm always always looking for new ones um, especially when I'm traveling. I mean I don't know what the thrift shops are there so I'm always googling, I'm always yelping, I'm always asking people for recommendations. So I guess my tip is to take note of the neighborhood that you're thrifting in more trendy and popular thrift shops will you know have those trendy items that you might be willing to spend money on but they're also really expensive even if it's something that I might want to buy um, I might not want to spend that much money on it um, if it's the same price as buying something new um, then I just don't think that it's worth it less popular flea markets and thrift shops are usually going to be less expensive um, and you never know who's donating what where so that's just something that I always think about. Moving on, I think it's also helpful to have an idea of what you're looking for, but I think that this also can kind of hurt you as well. When I have an idea of what I'm looking for, I feel like I'm really focused. Um, I know what sections to check out, but if I do have something specific in mind, I tend to not focus on other areas and I feel like I might miss out on something that is also really cool or something that I would also be willing to buy. So it's just kind of nice to have a plan when I'm going shopping, but also be aware of the other things that you know, you might not have been looking for because I feel like you find the best treasure when you're not really looking. This next tip I literally never do, but I feel like if I did do it, it would be really helpful. So I'm just gonna share it with you and that would be to go earlier rather than later. It's kind of simple logic. If you go earlier, things won't be as picked over. Um, the stores won't be as messy. I feel like with flea markets, it's not as big a problem, the messiness, but by the time that you get to a flea market, if it's later in the day, then everything is kind of already sold out. And then in thrift shops, I feel like throughout the day, it just gets messier and messier. I don't know if that's just me, but if I go later in the day, I feel like all the thrift shops that I go to are really messy. There's just hangers everywhere. Um, everything is already in the fitting room and it's just harder for me to shop. Um, I don't like to shop when it's super messy. It just kind of deters me from, I don't know, wanting to look through stuff. Um, it's already kind of a messy situation sometimes when I'm in thrift shops, so just having to go through stuff that's already been picked over, I just feel like it makes it a lot harder for me and I feel like I never really find anything when I go later in the day. So 
go early. I want to say that I said this in my last flea market vlog, but um, something that I really like to do when I go thrifting, especially when I'm looking for clothes, is to wear the right outfit. Of course, you want to dress comfortably, especially if you're going to be looking through stuff. Um, you don't want to wear uncomfortable clothes when you're thrifting just because that sounds like a nightmare. I know this probably isn't possible for everyone, but if you're going thrifting, I would say to wear light clothing. Um, I always wear a skirt that way if I want to try on pants, I can just put the pants on over my skirt or under my skirt. What am I saying? I just try to wear clothes that will make it easier for me to try on things um, if there isn't a fitting room. Um, a lot of the times at flea markets, there's never a fitting room. And then sometimes in thrift stores when there's a long line or if there's only like one or two fitting rooms, I don't wanna wait in line to do those things. So I just wanna try on stuff really quick to see if it fits um, and then I'll just go to a mirror and see if it fits properly. Um, so yeah, just wear the right outfit, I guess, when you're going thrifting. Of course, comfort is key, but it might be helpful to also wear things that you can layer over. Um, that way you're just not spending a lot of time waiting to try things on or trying things on. I think that's just a lifesaver for me. That last tip kind of touches on my next one, which is to try it on. And of course I'm talking about if you're trying to thrift clothes, there are a lot of times when I'll see something that I think is really cute or I think um, I'm really going to like, and then I try it on and it's just awful. <laughs> and then other times I'll think that something looks really basic um, or I just feel like, I'm not really sure about it, but then I'll try it on and it just looks amazing. Um, the fit is just right or the color or something like that. So I don't think you should ever just see something and be like, oh, okay, yeah, let's buy it. Um, I think it's important to try things on, especially if you're only looking for certain sizes. There's some times when I've found something that I thought was not going to be my size, but I try it on and it's totally my size. So yeah, try it on. You never know, you might like it. The next tip would be to be picky about what you buy, but not about what you try. If you see something remotely interesting, I feel like just try it on. Uh, again, I'm talking about clothes, not about like furniture. I guess this is more for thrift shops rather than flea markets, but um, just because you're a female doesn't mean that you should disregard the men's section. I feel like I found a lot of cool stuff there. I'm always looking at the home decor, the bags, the shoes. Um, you just never know. You might find something great. If you find anything that captures your attention, pick it up, see if it's something that you like, and then, you know, you might find something cool. This next tip I think is pretty obvious, but it would be to inspect your purchases carefully. If you see stains, if you see rips, whenever I see something wrong, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a no. Um, sometimes if it's a small rip that I can sew, I don't mind doing that. Um, if it's a stain, I kind of think about if I can dye the fabric or something like that. I also have to think about the price. If this damaged item is something that I'm willing to spend my money on, you know, you might like something a lot, but then, you know, take a second look at it and realize that it's not as great as you thought it was initially. Sometimes I'll get really excited about something. Um, and then the more that I think about it, the more that I inspect it. Um, if I look up the brand and it's, you know, not a very good brand or something like that, um, that can really change my decision. So yeah, just look at what you're buying carefully. Okay, the last tip is to not be discouraged if you don't find anything at all. I cannot tell you how many times I've gone to the flea market or the thrift store and I'll try to vlog it and I'll be looking for stuff and I just find absolutely nothing. That happens. There's a lot of people that like to thrift. Um, sometimes everything is picked over. Sometimes there's nothing that's practical or nothing that I think is going to fit my lifestyle. Um, sometimes nothing fits. Sometimes, I don't know, it's just not for me. Sometimes it looks like a good deal, but it's just not really anything that I'm going to get personal use out of. Don't let that discourage you. Um, you don't have to buy something just because it's cheap. I feel like a lot of us kind of get into that trap where we'll go thrifting and we'll kind of see something and it seems like a really good deal, but if you don't need it, you don't need it. I feel like I go thrifting a lot because I'm always searching for stuff. Um, and if I don't find something at a particular place, um, that doesn't mean that that's a bad place to go thrifting. Um, there are a lot of places that I really love to go thrifting that I'll find absolutely nothing all the time. So yeah, you know, go often. You never know what's gonna turn up. I think I already said it, but you never know who's donating what, where, or at what time. So yeah, I think that's gonna be the last of my thrifting tips. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye.